Hi, everybody. This is Darcy Ronnie, project manager with the city of Wenatchee. We'll get started in just one minute. We have a great resource here at the city that can help me out. I hope that you can all now see my screen and see me. I'm Darcy Ronnie. I'm a project manager. The city of Wenatchee Public Cafe is a public meeting to go over the planning process for our stormwater project. We are calling the Purdy Street Stormwater Retrofit Project. Um, this project is uh, a quality funded project. They're paying for 85% of the project in the name of water quality. And I've been tasked with joining the design team for the project. Today's meeting is not only to tell you about the project when it's coming, the details involved, but also to speak back on the project we consider now while we're in the design phase. Um, I really know that we're probably going to be So it's simply you can feedback now and consider that in our design process. It will be more public as we move forward and go to gain, uh, get to that last 10% of the design from 90 to 100%. We'll have construction needs and more and more information to come. So with that, I have a presentation prepared. Um, I'd like to see if you can help me. Please do not know you're having problems hearing. And I'm sharing my screen. So it's just pretty straight I hope that you can all see that. Yeah, Darcy, stop all the second. Hey, Todd, I appreciate you letting me know that. I'll be different on my end. And I'm using Zoom, which I'm not using often, but I feel like it's better. Uh, public outreach program where people are familiar with Zoom. So, thank you very much. Just a little bit there. I'll go ahead and put the, the first screen up here. Uh, I'll start reading my name. This will show up again at the end of the question. If you receive one of my door tags, you can also keep that to find your number and how you vote works. If you have this is also being recorded, and we'll put this on our website and it will live there throughout the life of the project you can refer back to. So, next screen, just a general overview. I'm going to show you another more detail in just a minute. Um, but this is a bird's eye view of the project. It's right between Green Street, Sunnyvale, Eastern Water, Maple, including the whole stacks of Central, Alderwood, and Wood. The people on Round Street and the other East were also formed at this meeting because of the stormwater project that I'm going to to the East. And so by them, I don't know if you can reach out to your address you want to talk specifically about how this will affect you and how to do so. Uh, but just wanted you to know the scope of this storm that we're looking at here. I'm going to next slide. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood, you probably can't the condition of it as we're going today, that it is a wide arterial street in the city. It has sidewalk and curb on one side, and no sidewalk and gravel walk and right away on the east side. Uh, the intersection of the Orange Springwater are approved and have the canyon drain heading through this area. And next map, we'll show you about that. So, some right information. Why are we doing this? Uh, we are doing this because we you know, have another runoff within our city. And historically, this area has had lots of flooding. There's the number one canyon drain that's through this area. 
Yeah, the Northern Canyon drain runs through the city, but is not the city's jurisdiction to manage. And that causes challenges for all of us that live along any of the canyon drains. The canyon drains only catch the inner area and then is piped under our streets. It goes through private backyards, you might have it in your backyard. And so it's a very challenging natural drain to manage. And in large rain events, the water will come out of the canyon drain and cause flooding. And the Virginia Street area only has a curb and no access to the inlets to most stormwater. So the city's really important area. The quality has better and water quality that allows the most stormwater infrastructure if we also add water quality to clean the water before it gets to the Columbia River. And so this area, besides just the Purdue Street, the whole basin, 55 acres that we look at, we're really taking in 50 acres of stormwater off of state streets and Purdue Street, and it's not even a good idea. She's going to the next time for the Canyon Drain. In large storm events, the Canyon Drain has water. So our goal in building stormwater is to eliminate how water goes to the Canyon Drain. We are not changing the Canyon Drain. We're not going to pipe over it or close what we see. Um, they have to protect the Canyon Drain. Our project will take the water off the streets and put it in pipes so they can overwhelm the Canyon Drain. Anyways, we'll get after the Canyon Drain, which is a stormwater term for best management practices. And to simplify that, those are things like catching underground infiltration galleries and using storm filters to clean the water. And that's where ecology is wasted. And the whole project is to work on So it's really important to clean the controls and we're going to clean the water. And so that is going to help us eliminate some of the flooding in the area, which is a real third benefit to this area. Um, at the time, it's really important to clean the street, and the road, and the side street, and central. So we're planning to ask. I'm going to show you on the next street. Um, okay, I'll leave our goal. I'd like to ask since we are going to have Virgin Street torn out. The city is going to fund replacing the water main, which is a six inch cast iron main. And we're going to increase that to an eight inch double iron main. We'll match the other part of the water. So we'll do the next one. So just reiterate our project goal. We're going to increase our quality. It goes to the Columbia River. We're going to treat the stormwater runoff from the streets. We're going to include through flooding in the area, and we're going to replace the old city cafeteria army with a new cafeteria main in Virginia Street. This map is a cartoon sketch of what's actually going to be built. It's a really busy map, so I have to walk you through this map a bit. And so what you're looking at is Virginia Street. I do. The top half of the map is from Stringwater to Central, and the bottom road map would be from Central to Maple. So it's the best way that we could get it into one drawing for everybody to take a good look at. The improvements are the green. The green is the new stormwater infrastructure we're going to build, and the thick pink line is the existing Number One Canyon Drain. Which you can see we're changing the layout or anything that is important because it's in close proximity to all the work that we're going to be doing. So we will need to protect that number one canyon drain as we go through and we might be not pipe to support it, but we won't be changing whether it's owner flows or its location. It will remain in place as we build our stormwater infrastructure down Green Street and side streets. Uh, when you look at Woodland, Hollywood, and Central, the thicker dark green boxes, those will be infiltration trenches that will be under the street. When we build them, they will be large open pits. But when we're done, they will be under the street and the street will be paved and you won't know that they're there. Uh, they will serve as a holding areas for the stormwater as it can slowly infiltrate back into the groundwater and clean water quality before any of that releases most of the Columbia River. I have another slide in a minute. I'll show you my map. I'll explain how you can reference this map again. This map is on our website, so you can revisit that at any time to understand and, and read everything in more detail. Uh, the other colors that you see there, the orange is the sewer system, and the blue is what makes it open. And the line should be removed and then be replaced. So it's a pretty busy map. There is a lot going on in this street. Uh, so we're trying to depict it the best we can, but I'm happy to answer questions, walk you through it, or come out to your house, meet with you. Those are, those are all options. This is the first introduction to our project. So many more conversations can be had to come. Um, I'm going to go forward, and I'm happy to come back to this again. I'd like to give an example of what infiltration trenches can look like. So this slide shows different infiltration trenches that you have seen. Um, these are pretty common in different cities. They're often built under parks or parking lots, like the picture on the upper right is showing cars parked on top of that. The one to the left shows how you drive on it on the road or you can incorporate climb trenches to lay on the ground trenches. So they're kind of a freeze model showing how the trench can be on the ground. Piece at the bottom, I run through it, and then the infiltration trenches. And then one's not showing the trenches, so it's picking there how the sand and the coal gets layered so that this water quality can be placed on the ground and the water is not going to be So it's into the rest of the stormwater system that leaves the silt and sand behind. So we're thinking about how this is going to affect your neighborhood. When we go to build this in 2026, there will be a standard construction project. This is an example right now. They are building stormwater in around college on 19th and Princeton. So these are pictures of what construction activity will look like. It will take up a good portion of the road while we're out there. They will be digging these large trenches using boxes which are receiving and on site. This is also for your neighborhood. If we need to get on the front, we'll have to go just to stop work today. It's really about getting the design right and considering it. We'll know where the traffic controls are going to be. And why we'll have to move your lot of us to be close to the center. We'll have to use specifically about your driveways, your neighborhood, how you're going to move traffic around, and our traffic control plan. I just want to give you an example today of the different areas of traffic on the road industry. It's all these facilities. On the left, they're installing the mammal, so they're working down the trucks. So the road is light as that trench box, and they have to get in there and work, and then they eventually come back and go back and they feel the top. So our concern related to that is how will this get restored for your neighborhood? I know that's always a common question. Um, today, the plan is to keep the sidewalks as is, and we will be replacing the ramps with the current ADA ramps. We'll bring them up to federal standard when we do this project. If you're not familiar with an ADA ramp, uh, they're wider and they have a flat surface for the And then on the we also have to have the yellow pad for the pumps, which are in here, and that's all part of bringing up each sidewalk component to ADA compliance. So we will be doing that on the existing program. So you're not adding a new sidewalk for the project, and we're not including the east side of the road at this time. It will remain the same when we are done. It will just be asphalt, meeting gravel, and the asphalt will be paved over. It's the producer, and we'll be the construction work when we're done with this project. The detail that update is that we will begin the work in spring to summer of 2026. After we finish planning, we will be applying for construction and ecology. And we usually find out that we're awarded that next year between July and July. So if everything goes on track, we'll bid the next fall and we will have a contract ready to go spring of 2026. Pending our snow melt, they could start as early as March or April. Or if it's a heavy snow year, they might not have started until later June. But we like to try to align and give them maximum number of days. We do anticipate that this job will take up to 14 weeks. Now, we can't have a few to access their homes for no one day. We can make sure these are not kids out. We can have a normal department. 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 We can
kind of um, cash collection. I think it covered my pocket. I'm going to ask the question about something. Um, so I appreciate your grace there. Um, so on Central and Pershing, uh, maybe going to the map, your slide with the map of the work. Um, this is the intersection of Central and Pershing. Um, you guys are probably aware that there's a re reclamation district water pipe that comes up from the canal down there. We are. And so we as a district have been responsible for repairing the damages for all of that, um, for the pipe, which is probably just as old as the pipe that you're replacing. Um, so I was just wondering, as it is exposed on spring on spring itself, I'm just guessing it will be. Yes, all of it will be. I'll be digging trench. Perfect. Okay, I just, I, I mean, it would be great to be able to take, just write a note just for uh, ones that are managing Reclamation district, district. If we can just take a look at the pipes while they're exposed there, not to interrupt with any timeline of projects you've got going, but it would be great to check that out while it's exposed. I am making a note of that. And I did share earlier in the meeting I would like to share. We had a public meeting last night in Chris, and I had um, eight people attend, one of which uh, was Chris from your neighborhood, and the next yes. one, um, I have talked a lot about your but we want to learn absolutely everything we can. Okay. So, see, um, but I met with Chris, Suzanne, Susan, and Ann, and they did have a lot to share. Um, yes. How irrigation we will take. Irrigation is the wild card. Always is on every project. It's just, you know, it's supposed to manage privately. And so yes. we change our minds all the time. Yes. We just never seem to have the most current information. I might be honestly tell people, go find the oldest person in the neighborhood who knows the most. <laughs> I'm not proud of the family function, yes. but we really try hard, but it really takes finding that person that's worked on it for the last 10 years. So we'll take anything we can get. And then as we get the trenches open, we try to work with you to get a time to look at that. We're going to be in that area. So we want we want it as much as we can when we work with you. So let's continue to talk. If you have maps or anything you can show me, photos, I'd love to get those. Yes. Just email to me. At, when we finish up, I can flip to my email again um, or be on your end. And I'd love to get anything you have. Please come here and I can write a copy of those Sweet. Um, and just bad notes to your um to, to this project here. So my husband Andrew and his twin brother David Dubroff have been managing this reclamation um district for our members for the last actually moved in 2007. So they would be a great resource for you to learn about everything. We also just recently had about 14 dollars worth of to our irrigation line. So we have an updated list of all residents that are tapped into this specific um vessel. So we can help provide that um, information as well. Um, but, great. Yeah, so we're here, and so we have all, all we have an updated list of who is which addresses are attached to this irrigation line as okay. of great. last month, this month, this year. Um, so just wanted to add that note. Um, and then also, um, I, I heard that you mentioned there is no curb and gutter or anything being uh, altered on the east side of Pershing. Um, can you clarify? Will there be any height difference or anything coming off of our like off our driveway onto Pershing? Is there any elevation difference? Is there going to be a bump? Is it going to be even? What's that going to look like? There will be no significant notice to you, but I will say if, if you're engineering minded or you want to know what looks like, we're going to change the road grade slightly, but literally just 1%. We won't notice it dry per se, and it won't be a challenge for the driveway. But what we're going to do is just slightly tilt the road to the left because we're taking advantage of the, storm, the system that exists being the curb line. Okay, the curb line is not going to use it to our advantage. But catch basin and infiltration gallery along that. So we're just barely going to tilt the road. We'll be in the paving phase, and you won't notice it dry. It's okay. enough to force the water to run to the system we're going to build to maximize the runoff on the street. Yeah, we're not really excited to sign because this is a utility funded project and ecology um, doesn't fund like additional sidewalk or additional street like restoration. They yes. must be fine to rebuild stormwater. But as a utility district, what we try to do is we try to get in first. So we also have streets program, the engineering program, the paint mm -hmm. program, and the sidewalk reservation program. So from utility district perspective, our goal is to get in and get out of the way. So mm -hmm. they're behind us. And also there could be future development in these areas where there's open big and lot, there could yes. be a bill or something yes. else. And then they would be looking at needing to bring the east side up standard. So yes. our goal is again is also the flooding, get us on our system and gather so that the other apartments can then come through and improve the street for the next several years. So Got it. Perfect. Thank you so much. And then my final question is, since you were, since your team will be working on adding a new asphalt and having a nice smooth surface <laughs> um, along Pershing, is it possible just to take note or somehow monitor since you guys are on our street and working on it? Um, we have quite a, it's starting to become a very high traffic area, especially for drivers that want to avoid Western. And so we get cars that are coming through anywhere 10, 15, 20, 30 miles per hour higher than the speed limit on our street, a residential street. Um, I know I speak for our residents, but we don't necessarily want to stop on but is there a way to do a roundabout, which I hate to say that word, or even probably prefer speed bumps on our streets? So speed questions and such. I yeah. request to put in. I heard that last night as well, but I did that first to be quite speed zone. Um, okay. So I'll take note of that. It's not something we're planning to sign up. part of the layering of what I was talking about, where yes. we get in and get that done and get out of the way, and then they can, or they being our streets engineers and their transportation project, can come in behind us and look at it in a full traffic study and it's that could involve plus with the traffic from the big speed cushions to roundabouts or little bulb outs or planter strips their, their strategy to how you slow down and control traffic and i don't know the whole it does that would be great because again we don't have to go in a street after they approve it like that yeah. we're going to so right. the project is not sure people that can stop where we are yet right okay great and that's all i have thank you for your time well thank you um if you're wondering i think i'll make a question if you have any of those questions i'll make yes this is outside of the across the street from million twelve twelve person okay thank you yeah uh thanks for the uh the infrastructure on central. We're actively working on it. And I'm going to do some couple of things. I'm going to try to park on that side. Yes, we will. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, we're going to go back in the ground. Like, my understanding now that we can talk a little bit more about that when we get closer to constructing the methods and a lot of traffic control plan will approve and uh, all the things we ask when we go through that traffic control plan. Okay. Uh, as far as the irrigation, I know in the Alderwood Irrigation Group, in the city, we, have some, we actually, I don't know who but someone in our group coordinated with the city so we could replace our irrigation line that was this old cast iron stuff. Uh, with new pipe, so maybe maybe uh, for that uh, in 2026 since everything's going to be open and exposed. So, I've heard it a few times. We probably should talk about that and see how logistically how we can frame that. But I had also from Springwater Irrigation District. You know, I think Chris, I worked with Chris Curley. She asked me that last night, so it sounds like there's a lot of people that are going to have to open. 
Yeah, the steel pipes, I guess, are a real pain because they're up and through. Actually, even they're running right now. I'm going to follow up with uh, those of you involved with irrigation, and we can talk a little bit more about what that would be like. Okay. An actual timing. So another question I have is I tried to show up for your meeting last night, and both the doors were closed, so I went to Yakima Street, and that door was closed. What did you run? Yeah. Uh, it was in the road. There's two entrances of building behind the road up there. Yeah, and I almost went out there to like 520. So for future reference, you might want to put it on out there on the sidewalk directing people there, because what I read is I started to walk towards that low door with employees only. Oh, that's it's on the door. good feedback. Thank you. I'm yes. really sorry about that. I'll see you at gas bill. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. I'm going to say yeah. before, but I, that's easy fix. Yeah, 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 I know. It's just, I can't think of everything, so no sweat. I'm glad I was able to attend this meeting. And the other thing is, I'm not in favor of any round about it. Yes, no stop sign, no run up, but something that speed would be great. It, <laughs> I, I think, think it's enforcement. For this right now. <laughs> it's, it's enforcement. We should have the cops put their speed limit trailer on the road. Yeah, crazy. Uh, <laughs> B-Mine is the prettiest roundabouts that have been put in by the city. Uh, and unfortunately, in my opinion, I don't think the city exercises its right of eminent domain to be in adequate size roundabouts. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones that are on green. There's still semis that people park in the residential neighborhood during the week on weekends because yeah. they're truck drivers. Yeah. And uh, or like my truck, a couple of RVs, some of these are still uh, shipped around by the way. I'm going to put it in. Hey, I don't know what you're going to do. I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going